I'm Staff Sergeant Seth Redeker, and this is your Gunfighter News Report for Friday, April 27, 2012. Colonel Short assumed command of the 366th Fighter Wing last Friday. Airman First Class Jacob Combs was on location at the Change of Command Ceremony. Last Friday, gunfighters celebrated the time-honored Change of Command Ceremony on Mountain Home Air Force Base. The 12th Air Force Commander, Lt. Gen. Robin Rand, began the ceremony with an inspirational speech. The 366 has a rich heritage, forged in blood, sweat and tears, from extensive combat operations all the way back to World War II, Operation Just Cause in Panama, and Operation Desert Storm. And for the last 21 years, few wings in our Air Force have been more involved in combat operations than the gunfighters. After two short years as the wing commander of Mountain Home Air Force Base, on April 20th, Colonel Ron Buckley relinquished his command. In his replacement, Colonel Christopher Short assumed command of the 366th Fighter Wing. Colonel Short spoke encouraging words to the gunfighter audience. I want to thank you for what you do every day, day in, day out, to make the gunfighters the premier fighter wing in our United States Air Force. Again, it's a true honor to be the newest member of your gunfighter team. Ride hard, shoot straight, and always speak the truth. Thank you. Reporting from Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho, I'm Airman First Class Jacob Combs. Squadron commanders joined Colonel Smith and Chief Weimer in a visit to the 366 Security Forces Squadron's Military Working Dog Section. Kennel Master, Tech Sergeant Justin Devaney, gave the commanders a tour of the complex and a demonstration of the working dog's capabilities. Sergeant Devaney emphasized that the dog's training allowed them to tirelessly pursue their goal. What we've done is we've actually paired their odor that they're trained to, trained to detect with their reward. So what the dog is actually hunting for is his reward. He's not hunting for anything else. A whistle pig doesn't mean anything to him. It's, it's, he's just looking for his toy. Sergeant Devaney also said that working dogs are considered fully fledged security forces members. This allows them to be the overseer on searches as well as assist in prisoner escorts. The visit ended with Colonel Smith and Chief Weimer suiting up to see if they could outrun a working dog. Now let's take a look at some Mountain Home moments. Members of the 366th Fighter Wing came out to test their strength and agility during the Strongman competition held April 20th. More than 15 gunfighters participated in events from tire flipping to vehicle pulls. Gunfighters came together to post pinwheels around the main gate marquee to help prevent child abuse. The program was part of Idaho's Pinwheels for Prevention, which is a national campaign to help inform society of child abuse and neglect. The base held an Arbor Day ceremony April 25th to plant a tree in tradition with the holiday. On the first Arbor Day, April 10th, 1872, an estimated one million trees were planted. For more information on events around the base, you can visit mountainhome.af.mil, facebook.com slash mountainhome.af.mil, or youtube.com slash 366FW. That's your Gunfighter News. I'm Staff Sergeant Seth Redeker.